Getting to the community in remote, hard to reach Basaloi in Samburu County in northern Kenya requires having a vehicle made for the most difficult of terrains. The chart, Communities Health Africa Trust team, has been taking this bumpy ride for over a decade now. Church uses the population, health and environment approach to human development that integrates family planning and health with conservation efforts. We have been receiving education about pregnancy, about family planning, about the environment. In Kenya, while poverty rates have gone down in the past decade, they remain relatively high in most parts including Samburu. According to the World Bank, agriculture helped in the reduction. It, however, also caused agroclimatic shocks like droughts. Across the world, human population growth puts intense pressure on the natural environment. Where communities are poor and most dependent on the land, their options are limited and local environmental damage can be devastating for both ecosystems and people. When you look at this forest there before, uh, that is 80s and late 70s, you could get water all over in these streams. Water was just flowing everywhere. The, the land was so beautiful. The forest was very dense. So when you compare that time and now, when you go down, down there, you hardly get water. It drains very quickly. The place is eroded, you see, it's not, it, and the other time it was very intact. But nowadays it's... Kenya is one of Africa's richest nations in biodiversity. About 70% of national biodiversity resources are outside protected areas, while 30% are within protected areas. According to the country's 2015 biodiversity report, the main threat comes from human activities, agricultural expansion, urban extension, logging, pollution, mining and park management practices. The dilemma is that 70% of the population stays in the protected areas where the most important biodiversity thrives. From 53 million in 2017, the population is projected to reach 91 million in 2050 and 125 million in 2100, according to the UN. In the National Biodiversity Report, the main drivers are human population growth, which is exerting pressure on habitats and land resources, poverty, which is leading to unsustainable use of land resources and biodiversity, and limited financial resources to support biodiversity conservation. <laughs> The community in Basaloi understands that family planning not only helps them escape poverty and improves the quality of their lives, but also helps to protect the natural environment that they value. <laughs> Before the shot, we have a lot of problems. Mary, a community health volunteer, delivers information to the community about family planning, maternal and child health. She's one of 12 children and offers us an insight into why the population was growing so fast and why she has witnessed environmental destruction. You know, before, yeah, women have been delivering and delivering without gabbing the children. She is thankful to Chat's intervention in Basaloi, where unemployment and low levels of education are prevalent. The environment now is improving because of the family planning now. The people are now gabbing the children. You get the first one, you stay for three to four years, and then second one, you stay for five years. So things are changing. 
This has helped immensely in reducing desired family size, with some people preferring two children. The pressure on the environment has been reduced. Because you don't have a lot of under five. Family planning and the environment, yeah? it goes hand in hand together. Hallelujah. Yeah?